Chapter 3 Fiber to Fabric Clothes are an important part of our life. Think about the variety of clothes you wear in summer, in winter, during daytime, at night, at home or at a party. Have you ever thought how such large variety of clothes is made? Introduction Look carefully at image. Can you imagine that most of the clothes you wear come from it? It is a cotton plant and cotton is the most commonly used fabric in making clothes. The journey of clothing has been very interesting. Humans started covering themselves with leaves and bark of plants to protect themselves from the harsh weather and harmful animals and insects. Then they started wrapping themselves in animal skins which provided better protection. Then humans invented needle and started stitching skins. The first clothes are believed to be made from the stem of flax plant. Compare this to your wardrobe today. Count the type of clothes you have. Some are very smooth while some are rough. Some soak lot of water, others do not. Some are worn in summer and some in winter. Let us see why do we need clothes and from where all these clothes come from. Why do we need clothes? We need clothes to protect our body from extreme weather conditions such as heat and cold. In summer, we need to cover our body to escape the hot rays of the sun and in winter to protect it from losing heat. We also need clothes to protect us from insects. Can you imagine the time when humans did not wear clothes? Early humans lived just like wild animals and had lot of body hair for protection. As they started covering their body, the hair started to reduce. Now, clothes are one of our basic needs. We have social norms of wearing proper clothes. There are different types of clothes for different seasons, different places and cultures, and also different occasions. Where do clothes come from? Look around yourself in your room. Do you see curtains on the window, a wall hanging, a table cover, your school bag, canvas shoes, your clothes and the bed sheets. All these are made from fabrics. Fabrics are used not only to make clothes but also for various other things such as raincoats, bags, machine covers and shoes. Different types of fabrics are used to make these things. Some of these are natural, whereas many of them are man-made. For thousands of years, humans used only natural fabrics such as cotton, wool, silk, jute and linen. But nowadays, a large variety of synthetic and blended fabrics is available. Each type of fabric has a different texture or feel. For example, silk is smooth to touch, whereas wool is rough. What are fabrics made of? Observe your school shirt or trousers through a magnifying glass. You will see long threads woven with each other. These are called yarn. Take a small piece of old cloth and pick out a thread with a needle. All clothes are made by weaving yarns. Now take a piece of thread and put it on a hard surface. Scratch one end of the thread with your nail. You will see the thread splitting into thinner threads. These are called fibers. So now you know that fibers are made into yarn and yarns are made into fabric and fabrics are then cut and stitched into clothes. In other words, fiber is the basic unit of fabric. What are different types of fibers? Fibers are the threads used to make fabrics. Fibers can be classified based on the source from which they are derived. Broadly, the classifications are Natural fibers. These are the fibers obtained from natural sources such as plants and animals. Synthetic or man-made fibers. These fibers are made from chemical substances obtained generally from petroleum. Let us learn more about them. Natural fibers. Natural fibers are further classified into plant and animal fibers. 
plant fibers. These are also called vegetable fibers. These fibers are obtained from different plants. For example, cotton fibers, flax fibers, jute fibers, bamboo fibers, and cotton husk, coir. All these fibers are made of cellulose, which is a carbohydrate. Animal fibers. These fibers are obtained from different animals. Hair of some animals used as fibers is called wool. It is the most common animal fiber. Obtained from sheep, yak, camel and goat. Silk is another animal fiber obtained from silk worms. It is the strongest animal fiber. Animal fibers are made of proteins. Common natural fibers Cotton Cotton is the most commonly used fiber. It is used to make clothes, pillows, quilts and mattresses. Cotton plants were first grown about 6000 years ago in Asia, Africa and South America. It was extensively used by the ancient Greeks in their clothing. Cotton grows on a bush in which cotton fibers are present around the seeds. The fruits of cotton plant are called bowls. When bowls mature, they burst open to reveal seeds surrounded by cotton fibers. These cotton balls are picked up from the plants either by hand or by machines. Then the fibers are separated from the seeds by combing. This process is called ginning. The ginned cotton is pressed into large chunks called bales and sent to cotton mills. In cotton mills, bales are changed into cotton yarn by the process of spinning. Yarn is then changed into fabric. Cotton fibers can also be changed into yarn by spinning with hand. This can be done using a takli or a charkha. During his non-violent struggle for independence, Gandhiji asked people to use charkha to make our own cotton yarn for clothes and to boycott the imported British clothes. Earlier, this entire process was done with hand. Now it is mostly done by special machines. Jute Jute fibers are obtained from the stem of the jute plant. The stems are soaked in water for days. They start rotting and the fibers are separated from them by hand. These fibers are dried and woven into fabrics. Linen Linen fibers are obtained from flax plant. The stems of harvested plants are dried and beaten to remove the fibers by hand. These fibers are then changed into fabric. Linen is often used for bed coverings. Coir Coir is obtained from coconut plant. Coir fibers form the outer covering of a coconut fruit. It is used in making robes and mattresses. Synthetic fibers These are also called man-made fibers. These are made from the chemicals obtained from petroleum. There are many types of synthetic fibers. Some examples are polyester, Nylon, Decron and Acrylics. They are used for textile as well as other purposes. Synthetic fibers are generally lighter than natural fibers and have less water retention capacity. They are more inflammable than natural fibers. How do we get fabrics from yarn? Yarns are dyed into different colors and changed into fabrics of different colors and designs. There are two ways of converting yarn into fabric. These are as follows. Weaving. Weaving is the arrangement of two sets of yarns perpendicular and alternate to each other. Weaving is done by a machine called the loom. A loom can be operated by hand and also by power. Most fabrics are made by weaving. Knitting. Knitting is done with a single yarn by making connecting loops. Woolen clothes are generally made by knitting. Share your clothes. Clothes last long. You should not throw away your old clothes. You can share them with those people who do not have money to buy clothes. Take your parents' help to collect clothes that are in good condition but not being used anymore. Donate these old clothes in the orphanage near your home. Encourage friends and neighbors to do the same.